Okay, so a few questions I have for you guys. Do you want monogamy, but you seem to attract players? Do you want commitment and you seem to attract non-committal men? Do you want someone that's honest <laughs> and you always seem to attract guys that are shady and lie to you? Do you want someone who knows what they want and you seem to attract men that are constantly inconsistent? If so, then you are manifesting your fears. And do you guys want to know how you're doing that? I was like, holy shit, I do that. <laughs> we all do this. Okay. So example, we meet someone, whether it's on a dating app, whether it is out in person, we meet them, we exchange numbers. The first few interactions are always that dopamine high and you're all excited and you're like, oh my God, he's good looking. And oh, we have chemistry and oh, the first date went great and everything's good, 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 good. But then there's that little shitty voice inside our head. That's like, I bet he's a player. Uh, I bet this is too good to be true. I bet he's this. I bet he's that. And guess what that is? That's your fear. So what are you doing? You are going to manifest your fear. You are calling the player in by being afraid of attracting the player. You are calling the inconsistent guy in by not wanting the inconsistent guy. You're so afraid of attracting the player, attracting the guy that lies, attracting the guy that's in and out that you are manifesting it. So the way to fix this, you guys, only focus on what you want only focus on what you want and i know that is a lot easier said than done but you have to do a cleanse of your negative thoughts so the more we think something you guys the more we repeat something the more it rolls around in our head and we all know that thoughts create matter so actually when you're sitting at home all week and you're looking forward to your weekend and you're talking to your girlfriend about what you're gonna do there's always that conversation that goes on between women are like oh god there's a bunch of douchebags there are should we even go like you kind of have that talk and you ping pong it back and forth or if you get dressed up and let's say you have a drink at the bar and the first person you meet is kind of douchey you instantly get thrown into that thought pattern. Oh God, guys are all douchey. I don't even know why I come here. It's not even worth my makeup. I don't even know why I got dressed up. I'm never gonna meet anybody. And the thoughts roll around, roll around, and they create matter. The universe is like, you think all that? You're right. Here's a douchebag. Here's a liar. Here's a player. Here's a guy that's gonna waste your time. So the universe is like, oh, that's what you want? Here you go, honey. So you guys, what we have to do to stop manifesting our fears is, ready, drum roll, Boom. All you have to do is focus on love. All you have to do is focus on the fairy tale. I want you to create a mantra that you're going to chant in your head before you go out, while you're getting ready, before you walk out that door. And anytime you have a trigger, I want you to create a mantra. Just see if it changes your experience when you are going out. Number one mantra, the perfect man is gonna arrive at the perfect time and I'm ready. The perfect man is gonna arrive at the perfect time and I'm ready. Easy, easy, easy. So before, while you're getting dressed, while you're doing makeup, the perfect man is going to arrive at the perfect time and I'm ready. Put on your mascara. The perfect man is gonna arrive at the perfect time and I'm ready. When you're walking out the door, the perfect man is gonna arrive at the perfect time and I'm ready. And anyone you meet in between, just act like they're your little brother, you guys. Don't absorb the energy. Just pretend like you're talking to your annoying little brother. Literally, that's who they all are to me. I am the big sister and these are my annoying little brothers. Just make it funny, don't absorb it. Don't don't process it so deeply into the cells of your body okay just stay on your mantra and the reason why you guys have to keep affirming it because it has to hit your heart it has to hit your gut to turn on the inner light of love you know what I mean you really have to just keep dancing it around in your head like you do the negative thoughts keep that little mantra dancing in your head all weekend all night and even when you come home the man is still able to walk into your life it may not be tonight but it will be soon you have to reinforce in your mind that you're taking powerful action through the inner work and mindful dating to manifest the love that you want not manifest your fears you want to manifest the love that you want so create a little mantra that suits you and have that for yourself have it for your go-to and all the men you meet in between are your annoying little brothers period end of story all right you guys so that's how you can manifest love versus manifesting your fears don't forget to download the worksheet in the description box below because there's a lot of healing that needs to be done to manifest properly as well so use those bullet points to dig in dive in. You got to feel it to heal it is what I always say. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching.